Buying an e-bike can be a big, expensive leap. Here are five things to know before you jump in. The first thing, e-bikes are heavy. My commuter bike weighs only 25 pounds. A boosted board with the big battery comes in at 17 pounds. A turn GSD with one pannier and both batteries comes in at 79.8 pounds. 80 pounds. When you're riding, the weight doesn't really make a difference, but depending on where you live and where you park, this is going to be a factor for how easy it is to get on the street. When comparing bikes, definitely look at the weight and ideally try them out in person. So definitely consider bike weight and bike storage before pulling the trigger. Number two, they can't make every hill. So this may be obvious, but I think without actually having an e-bike, this is sort of a difficult thing to gauge. A typical e-bike will at least double your leg strength. But if you find a particularly steep hill, an e-bike isn't a guarantee you'll make it, especially if you're planning to bring a second passenger. Number three, they're worth it. I don't know about you, but I've been known to spend too much time debating whether or not to pull the trigger. From experience, buying an e-bike is something you can almost certainly just say yes to. Being able to ride wherever you want with a second person, then use the bike as a makeshift tripod and ask them anything on your mind is an experience that's far better on a bike than in a car. Just buy the bike. Number four, small wheels are the future. It's not super common to see non-electric bikes with 20 inch wheels, but with e-bikes, you see them everywhere. So I was worried that these might feel like a little bit too small, a little bit too twitchy, kind of like riding a BMX bike, but that's just not the case at all. When small wheeled e-bikes are matched with tires that are wider, and also the bike benefits from having a lower center of gravity, I actually feel safer riding my 20 inch wheel GSD than my 700C commuter bike. Number five, theft is always a concern. I knew I'd worry about my fancy cargo bike getting stolen, but I've had to go above and beyond to give myself peace of mind. On my commuter bike, I use this, just a cheap U-lock, but on my GSD, I use one to two New Yorkers, a wheel lock, two Apple AirTags, and an Invoxia GPS. Subscribe for more tips on buying and keeping your e-bike.